in the beginning of the first quarter of the 20th century, in 1923 to be precise, the Ghani family, the renowned Paris publishers, built Le Chateau La Croix en A in Normandy, France. Fast forward almost a hundred years to 2019, and my two friends sold everything they had to buy the chateau. How sad and unloved it looked after many years abandoned. There was so very much to do, from knocking down wall to dancing to the gramophone. I love you to join Miss Anna and Peter as they take you on a journey to make the chateau truly splendid again. Love all those renovation projects. Come and join them with an insight into their life in France. I'll show you around, old sport. We're now sitting in front of a roaring fire and yeah. we're enjoying our evening. Contemplating watching Harry Potter. Yes, and I don't know much about Harry Potter. Oh, look, there we go. Look, <laughs> she's now. living the brand. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. <laughs> so this film would be Harry Potter and the Black Cat. <laughs> that would be a good name for a film. Miss Hannah's had a great idea. Over to you. We're going to do a highlights video. Highlights of 2020. So what are we doing today, honey? Painting. Painting. We're going to have a go at sign writing. On a huge scale. What? Oh look, here she goes. <laughs> and it's going to be, it's going to be, a, see it from space, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> All the drones that are monitoring us, we have to They're saying what's going on. Have they got planning permission for that? Are they staying in while they're in lockdown? Yeah, the things we get up to. You know, less than 10 euros for paint. We've still got half a tin of paint left. Um, great value. Yeah. This is the chicken hut. The floor, I found the floor. Well, it's you think it's block. a floor. It's I block. think it's a breeze block on its side. No, it's not because there's a spell everywhere. Go on, dig some more out with a spade. There, listen. And that's another breeze block. No, it's <laughs> not. Yep, and we're down to... Down to Hard! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the pour done. You can see the condition here of, it's just like paper, the wood. So nothing can be saved. Need longer legs. Uh, Miss Anna needs longer legs. We'll take the joists off. They're quite loose, aren't they? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the second door is done. What I've done is, this has come off our roof. We found it in the attic. We think that originally it went all the way along the ridge tiles. There's only one left, but we've taken out its pattern. And unfortunately, <laughs> I'll just tell you <laughs>
Okay, so we have all the boarding up, is done and insulated above. Just doing a quick update. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we've pretty much done in here now. We've got all the framework up, as you can see. Uh, the ceiling is done. We've also put the blinds up. We didn't film that because it's just putting blinds up, but they're all up. We've given it a clean. And then we've come to the quandary of the floor. So we're tackling the downstairs toilet. It's not a very glamorous project, but um, it, it was a very simple room. Uh, there's no detail in the room. There's a window at the end. We'll show you in just a second. And now I've started to cut the timber. So we've got, we've got our backboard uh, here. This is our, our backboard. This is what I'm gonna face uh, the wall with this. And then I've started to cut out my uh, panels this is uh, the ceiling now done and I'll, I'll show some pictures of how that started but basically that was just a plain ceiling so I've added obviously added the ceiling rows and then this rail here is just a bit of um, uh, softwood pine the windowsill here this is an absolute mess the way they've plastered this so I'm gonna chop that back out down to square again what are you doing now, Mr. Emery? Mr. Gorgeous, handsome Emery? This is the shape of the windowsill looking down. Uh, so what I've done is I've created a center line here. This is my center line and I've duplicated the center line in the room. And then I'm just coming off um, left and right of that center line all the way down the different um, angles. Look at this, he's going to wrap himself up in cling film. <laughs> <laughs> I got my tongue out, look, so it must be. <laughs> that is amazing. You see a little bit up there? Up a bit higher, high, up there, there. So uh, we've got some spare uh, MDF left and I've asked Miss Anna what design she'd like. I thought we'd make uh, a pelmet box just for the top. Okay, we're nearly finished, nearly finished the room. So um, the biggest parts of what we've done today is we've put the toilet in and that's gone really well. And there we go. It's going to be difficult with the door on now to show you it all, but we've got our new flooring and the skirting board went down really well. And there's our panelling that we created. Uh, those lines you can see are from the reflection from the mirror. And then we've got our new, our new ceiling, which we're very pleased with the way that came out, especially for the price. It was very reasonably priced, all of that, four pounds for the rows and then 165 for each of those lengths of um, uh, molding. Okay, we put a, a shelf unit that we found in the house, I had to cut that down uh, just to fill in that massive space above the, above the door there. And then we've got our gloss door that we finished and the door furniture which we baked in the stove and the restored radiator 
uh, with our five euro deco uh, towel rail and then going down our refurbished uh, sink with new taps and then part of the old uh, part of the old fit out we we had the original you know those squares of tissue paper that used to be the toilet paper that holder was still in here uh, so we decided to use that and then our low level system toilet hey honey uh -huh. so first floor landing So we're just in the middle of this project and a small packet has arrived for Miss Anna, a little present. from an auction in England and it's from the Odeon Cinema. And it was a little bit worrying, wasn't it, honey, at the end? No, we had loads. <laughs> How much have we got left? This. Look at all that we've got left. <laughs> Today we're going to start on our canopy project. So uh, we've got two canopies, one here above the kitchen entrance and exactly the same uh, over on the main hall coming in. So we've already mentioned that uh, all the glass work, obviously all the glazing needs to come out. And luckily we've got a reference point in that bottom left hand corner there. We can see that uh, there's an original curl left, uh, a curve left at the bottom of the glass.
So we really like it. It's not everyone's cup of tea. It's very unusual. It's quite unique. We haven't seen another green one, um, but we hope you um, we hope you enjoy the video. We've been out the back on the back of these buildings yesterday. Today we're taking up all of this off of the cart. Yeah, going back down to the hard car. Got your wellies on. Yeah. You can join me in the pond. <laughs> no thanks. Stagnant pond water. No? Okay, quick update. We've done, <laughs> we've cleared that side um, and it's amazing just how much going down a foot or so, you can see the line on the wall where the soil level was. Mm. Loving it. You enjoying the rain? I feel like a proper farmer. Look, I've got pickles. You've made me pickles. <laughs> Season pickle sandwich. <laughs> All I need now. Oh, and a Thomas look. Tom! Tom's been out to help us all, all this time. <laughs> but today, um, I'm just going to give you an introduction into what's needed uh, to be done to the gates. Now, a lot of the joints, unfortunately, have broken. So um, we see at the top here, and I'll, I'll put some still images in later, where all of the ornate stuff has, has split away from the frame. Uh, we've got a lot of rot here. Uh, so what I think I'm going to need to do is actually cut these panels out completely. These aren't the original panels.
Okay, so we've just um, just put up some coving. It needs to be corked and all finished up, but we wanted to bring the rooms together so it gives something for the eye to follow. <laughs> no makeup. <laughs> ah. So it's what time is it? It's quarter to eleven. Mm. And we've just finished. We are um, decorating, uh, because the weather's so dreadful today, um, we're going to put some paint up in the hall. Okay, a quick update. Uh, we've got the first coat of um, white on this coving and on the ceiling. And I've pretty much finished the uh, cream on the uh, walls. That's had three coats. Uh, the ceiling has had uh, a couple of coats and we are done on the gold. I'm really pleased how that's come up. We've taken some highlights on the ceiling rows there. Round on that height here, a new dado. Some strange angles though. That first angle there was 17 degrees. So that runs now all the way up. And that's ready for having its first First coat of primer. So we're looking at the end of the floorboards from the hall. That hole there. And maybe some wood filler in there. Some treatment and have a look. So that's the job. Let's see how that comes out. Okay, so we've chopped out the rot. Nice fresh edge. Okay, so we're just going to let that dry now and then a bit of stain over the top. So we've bought some lovely lights for the outside of the house. We think they're perfect in scale. We've got a selection. Um, we've got a pair of these, which are the slightly smaller ones. These are old uh, street lamps from uh, the Normandy region. These are council, local authority street lamps.
So there we go, we've got the chassis from the smaller lamp converted uh, for this lamp. So that gives us a small screw uh, fitting. We've got the final gloss coat. We've got our black on our main lantern, that's upside down. We've got the gold on both the mushroom hood, the vent, and also the, the spider bracket. And then lastly, uh, there's the wall bracket. Okay, so we've got the first one completed, rewired, uh, new lamp chassis, a complete new cable all the way down to the end of the bracket ready for the junction box. The lamp looks pretty though. The lamp is restored. What a bargain. Three of these for 70 euros. Yeah. Three of them. And they're huge. Hello. Hello. Hi guys. <laughs> We've got a lovely evening planned tonight with live mm. traditional French accordion and saxophone uh, players coming over to uh, entertain us and a few friends. Boarding is up. Now we just need to do some more uh, roof trusses and then finish off the sideboards.
Okay, that's another project done and a very convenient place close to our house uh, for our... What we're doing, these doors haven't been touched for years, so they're really, really dry and uh, we'll show you some uh, still images in the video in just a second. Uh, but the, the doors themselves are really, really dry. They haven't had any um, uh, care or attention for at least 20 years. Um, this is Winnie. <laughs> oh, Winnie wants to use the door lock just while we're on the video. So the main job is to get some um, penetration into the dry timber. It's done a brilliant I job. I haven't done this side yet though. I'm working more like way round. Slowly but surely, it's all in the prep work, isn't it? Please help my good friends, press like and subscribe to stay tuned for further adventures, old sport.